Okay, so welcome back. Now we're going to do the proof of the theorem. Um, so now, so all I did was I first set up the same uh, assumption, right? So we're going to start with letting u equal g of x, where, not were, where g prime of x is continuous over an interval. Let f of x be continuous over the corresponding range of g. And then also we're going to let f of, capital F of x be the antiderivative of f. Okay, so we're setting that up in the proof, right? So suppose that we have this. Then, what we're going to do is we're going to compose, um, we're going to take f of g of s. So what I'm going to do is let's take f of g of x. Okay, let's start with that. And um, let's take the derivative of this. Okay? So if we take the derivative with respect to um, x, what do we get? Well, we have to use the chain rule, right? So if we use the chain rule, we get the derivative of the outside at the inside function times the derivative of the inside function. Okay. Now, here's what we're going to do. We're going to integrate both sides of this. Okay. Now, you may think that uh, that's going to be kind of like going backwards, but you'll see, you'll see what I'm going to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to integrate both sides. Okay? And so now, what happens? Well, here I get f of g of x plus c. is equal to the integral of f prime of g of x times g, oops, times g of x dx, right? Okay, now, now all we have to do is do our u substitution, right? So, We're going to substitute in, right? So we're going to substitute u equals uh, g of x, and that means du equals g um, prime of x. dx, right? Because we could write this as, remember, du dx? du dx is equal to g prime of x, so if we just multiply both sides uh, by dx, we get this expression. Okay, we've seen that before, right? And so now, what do we get? Um, we get the integral of f prime of g of x times g prime of x is equal to what? The integral of f 
the prime of u du, which is equal to what? Well, this is equal to this. So we're going to get, this is going to be equal to f of u plus c, which is equal to f of g of x plus c. And that's the, that's the, uh, that completes the proof. Have a good day.